Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Forgotten Vehicles. In this episode, we're going to be discussing the turreted limo. And before we get into that, let's go over the Easter egg of the previous episode. Now, I'm going to have to be honest, I didn't really think so many of you would actually be able to get it, because Cerberus is something that I personally never really heard of all that much. But yeah, the Easter egg was the license plate, which is Cerberus, which is a three-headed dog, which also, of course, because the car's three-wheeled, I thought it was a fun little nod. So yeah, once again, I saw a bunch of you getting it right, so it's even the top comment as well, so congratulations, it was once again a surprising team effort this time. Now for this episode, I couldn't really come up with anything original for an easter egg, so I just left it for this episode, so, but if you happen to see anything that you could think would be an easter egg, then by all means feel free to come up with something, and uh, you know, maybe I'll consider it uh, an easter egg before I upload the next video. But either way, let's get into today's episode about the Turned Limo. The Turned Limo was released as part of the executives and other criminals update which was released in December of 2016 coming in at a small price of 1.65 million dollars at the war stock and carrier website it's not something that you were able to actually use outside of your CEO menu and also Pegasus it's actually one of the more interesting vehicles to ever be added in GTA online because well it's a limo and it has a turret on it it was actually one of the two vehicles if I'm saying that right that was actually a weaponized to this kind of degree. Sure, you had the insurgent pickup, but aside from that, there wasn't really an awful lot of armor things inside of GTA Online. Up until the turreted limo, there's actually two vehicles that were really, you know, used for quote-unquote griefing, which was the insurgent pickup and also the armored Karuma. Those were like basically, you know, two fast vehicles which you could use to, uh, you know, show your absolute dominance. And with that, I mean, no dominance whatsoever. But hey, you know, times were much more simple back then. And the turret limo definitely shook things up a little bit more. Personally, I never actually bought one because I always felt like it's you know, kind of a waste of money. And the minigun on there wasn't all that good compared to the insurgent pickup. But it definitely was a very unique vehicle. And later down the line, it was able to be used inside of the target races. But luckily, you didn't need to have a custom version of that because you can't store this one in a garage, nor can you do anything outside of just simply spawning and using it. But those are just some of my quick thoughts about the turreted limo. Let me know what yours are in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all later.